Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Today I'm going to run through my go-to quick smoothie recipe. I pretty much make this almost every day or a version of it very, very close almost every single day. So first I take about a mango or a mango and a half freshly cut and there is a little bit of frozen mango in here only because I had a little bit of frozen mango left over. As you'll notice I do a little bit of frozen fruit in my smoothies to help keep it really cold and thicken it up. So again, this is probably closer to two smaller mangoes. Um, obviously it depends a lot on the size that you get, but that's the first you wanna put your juicy fruits in first, and this is just a Vitamix container here. Uh, these mangoes, they're not really big, but they're you know about a medium sized mango. Again, probably close to a mango and a half, maybe closer to two on that. The next thing I put in is a little bit of pineapple. Again, not a whole lot. Um, probably, oh, I don't know. If you cut up an entire mango, that's probably a quarter of, or, I'm not a mango. If you cut up an entire pineapple, that's probably one quarter of the pineapple. Next, I do two lemons, or the juice of two lemons. And let me get my lemon squeezer. So you, you can also cut off just the peel, which I'll show you that, that method of doing that as well. So you can cut it in half and then just cut the peel off. And that way you're getting more of the fruit than if you just juice it. Either way, it works just fine. So this is just one method I do. Sometimes if I have a lot, um, if I want to thicken it up a bit, obviously, because just the juice, you're going to forego uh, some of the more some of the fruit that's going to thicken it up so i'll just do the juice of that half and then the juice of this other lemon here and that is another trick i'll let it chop off the ends just because when you do go to squeeze it if that end is chopped off for some reason i think you have a tendency to get more juice out of the lemon than if you just go ahead and um and actually this lemon doesn't look that good so i'm going to get a fresh fresher lemons. The lemons are all on sale right now because of the season I imagine and also because some of them are maybe going a little bad and they've been sitting out for too long. So get a fresh one with a bunch of juice that has a lot more juice in it. So again the juice of two lemons. You don't have to do two lemons but you'll notice when I'm done this is a lot of smoothie. Um, so next blueberries and I pretty much just do like I don't know, maybe a good handful of blueberries, I guess about maybe two thirds of a cup. And then I'll do some spinach. This is baby organic spinach. Um, and I'll shove that down in there. And then I've got some organic green kale. You can do rainbow kale. You can do any kind of kale you want. You really don't have to do kale either. But I like to have some kale in there. And then next I do some dates. So these are um, medjool dates that I've pitted, I fill up the whole jar with pitted medjool dates and then I soak them, just fill it up with water. And what that does is makes them a little bit easier to digest when they're soaked. So I'll go ahead and put usually like two to three, sometimes four if they're not real big, soaked dates in there. And again, these are really, really good. Not only high in calories, but a superfood as well. So then I'll put some frozen strawberries in. You want to make sure those are organic. And then I was going to do four bananas, but as you can see, this sucker is getting very full already. So we might just do three bananas. We'll see how many I can fit in here. Um, and again, you'll see these are pretty spotted. I like them to get pretty ripe before I put them in my smoothies. Um, the riper they are, the gushier, mushier, and sweeter as well. So this is a very sweet smoothie. The greens, of course, balance it out with a little bit of the bitter, the spinach and the kale, but I don't put a ton of that in there, and that's really the only vegetable I do. So usually have this, this smoothie about 30 to 60 minutes after I have my lemon ginger blast, which I just had. So then I'll put a scoop of this protein powder in. You can definitely forego the protein powder. I've just been working out. A lot so I want to increase my protein intake just a little bit and this is Garden of Life raw organic protein I'll put a link in the description below really good highly recommend it's just the unflavored I haven't tried the flavor 
but I'm sure it's pretty good. This is just amla powder, which is extremely bitter, so I'm only gonna put about maybe half of a teaspoon of that in there, but it's extremely high in antioxidants. This is a little bit of spirulina, less than a teaspoon. This is some, I think it's mesquite powder. I don't know. And the reason you might be asking, and about a teaspoon and a half of that, and then a teaspoon and a half of go-to cola powder. And you might be asking why I'm putting all these weird powders and supplements into the smoothie. And you can blame um, a video I watched. Uh, gosh, I can't remember his name. Avocado. I think it's David Wolf. Anyway, he had a video where he just put all these superfoods and all these powders, and I watched it, and I ordered probably like two or three hundred dollars worth of powders. I still have most of them, so I've got it down to just a handful until these are gone. Then I'm going to pull out some more and just work my way through these different powdered supplements that are all superfoods. And he went on and on about the effects of each one, but that's basically where I got the idea of adding those in. So. That's the smoothie. Um, you can tell I'm not gonna add any water. Sometimes I add a little bit of the water from my, my dates, but I'm gonna try to just get this to actually uh, turn into a smoothie with no water at all. So let's see. There's a lot of water obviously inside of the fruits. Especially with those lemons, that's something I highly recommend. Last week I was doing one lemon and one lime. Um, either way, works great. And I usually can fill up two of these 32 ounce um, mason jars, you can see, which I, I'll just leave it in the pitcher until I'm ready to fill that back up. But yeah, this is absolutely incredible. Hmm. Very good, very, very good. And this will keep me full until probably around four, three to four. I may have a piece of fruit, maybe a mango, an apple. I may not, I may just wait till my salad. I usually have a salad, pretty good sized salad at about five. And then if I'm still hungry, I might have a few flax crackers with some uh, raw cashew cheese or some type of nut, nut cheese that I'm making some uh, cashew cream cheese right now. So anyway, I'm going to get my daughter Evelyn and show you the proof that if this is good, because she's not even two years old and she loves this. All right, the real test to know if it's really good or not. Go ahead and give it a shot. There's been times where she'll start drinking this and she'll drink six or eight ounces. And this is a very thick, very um, calorically dense smoothie. So she loves it. She's not raw vegan, but she is close. She loves raw and she has a lot of, she probably has more raw fruits and veggies, nuts and seeds than anybody else in the household except for myself and my mom, so. And she's such a little one. What do you think, pretty good? She's still going, she's just gonna keep on going. Anyway, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Let me know if you like these little recipe videos in the comment section below, and I'll see you at the next one.
It's good. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye. Thanks for watching.